Hello students, in this session we are going to discuss uh, some of the questions uh, given in the pre-final examination. Uh, now we are going to discuss set 3, 8th question, this one. Uh, here it is given that a pentagonal pyramid of side 30 and axis 70 has its axis inclined at HP at 30 degrees and edge inclined at VP by 45 degrees. So let's write down the given data from this question. So here pentagonal pyramid side 30 axis 70 axis is inclined at 30 degrees to the HP means uh, sorry this is uh, theta is 30 degrees and phi is 45 degrees. Phi means inclination with the HP theta means inclination with the uh, <coughs> HP right. So let's start the problem here this problem is a three stage problem means in stage one we have to assume the uh, pyramid is resting on HP means standing position like this if this is the HP this is the cone oh, sorry pyramid and the second position we have to change it to the 30 degrees next position we have to change it for the 45 degrees so here let's start the problem this is our main reference line XY and here I will be drawing the top view of the pyramid first because whenever you are drawing the solids you have to draw the uh, top view first because in top view we will be getting the true shape of the base. So for that reason we have to draw the true shape of the base first. In this condition we will be obtaining the true shape of the base in the top view. Next front view will be the height of the solids. I will be drawing the uh, pyramid pentagon uh, like this uh, side uh, 30 the simple way of uh, drawing any of the uh, pentagon would be calculating this uh, already you have two points A and B you have to get the C D E and again A so for this uh, for these type of things uh, you can calculate this distance means height of the pentagon uh, from the midpoint of the AB just draw the perpendicular line and measure this distance has 1.54 into S S is 30 over here the side means 1.54 into 30 would become 46.2 just take a point 46.2 over here means this point will become D and uh, just measure this 30 mm over here draw an arc from A draw an arc from D draw an arc So this point would become E, this point would become C. This is a very easy method for drawing any of the pentagon. Because in solids you have to consume the time. So for that reason uh, this method you can obtain very easily. Now this is the pyramid we have to locate the center point of this one. This is the center point. To this center point you have to draw the line because those are the face edges of the pentagon. Right now, you can project this right to the front view. This is the axis. Here 
long dash short dash line uh, that would be light so in the initial condition i'll be making this one <coughs> to rest on the hp so the bottom uh, base would be falling on reference line xy this would be b dash a dash this would become c dash e dash and this would become d dash and this is o2 dash and the uh, height of the pyramid is uh, 70 this would become o1 dash so let's join them so your c and o1 would be here c dash and o1 and behind c dash and o o1 dash your e dash and o1 dash lies and behind the b dash and uh, o1 dash your a dash lies now next condition would be uh, tilting the figure 45 uh, 30 degrees uh, to the hp let's mention the height and the side Thirty. Next, I have to reproduce the same figure over here. This one would be the stage one. This one with the stage two, reproducing the same figure over here. One, two, two would be repeated over here. Next, you will be getting three. next this three would be reproducing over here and this three would be the reference point for the second stage of the front view means in this condition this is not a uh, true uh, final projection this is not a final projection next uh, coming stage we will be getting the projections uh, just i'm tilting the axis to the 30 degrees an array of uh, 30 degrees from here next i'll be reproducing the same structure this figure this is 21 and uh, 47 21 and 47 this point is d dash this point is b dash a dash and this is uh, o2 dash and uh, from there it is 30 from here it is 30 This would become C dash E dash, and uh, this axis is seventy. Uh, From here, it would be the seventy. Let's finish off this. This is axis line, right? I'm not uh, concentrating on that one. O1 dash and this is O2 dash. Now we have to project that down. And we have to project this.
now this point is A this point is B um, this point is O2 this point is E this point is C this point is uh, D and uh, this point is O1 now coming to the solids just finish off the outline then you can go for inside thing right now coming to the inside when you are looking in this direction when you are looking in this direction you can't see this bottom D because uh, that is uh, under this portion D can't be seen so D can be in hidden form and looking in this direction you can see A dash O1 dash B dash O1 dash means A and O1 you can see B and O1 you can see and uh, coming to this one C dash and E1 dash and O1 dash can be seen already E and O1 is seen C and O1 is seen now I'll be joining the A and O1 Uh, you can't see the D, right? So that would be in a hidden form. Hidden is a short dark dash line. Short dark dash line. From O1 to o O2, you have an axis line, right? This is an axis line. Now you have to reproduce this figure over here with angle 45 degrees means I will be taking this AB 45 degrees and reproducing the same figure over here stage 1 stage 2 in stage 1 you are producing the front view over here in stage 2 you are reproducing the stage uh, top view over here means this is the final projection of top view for with this reference if you draw over here you can draw the final front view this is the top view this is the front view I'll be taking the angle 45 degrees This is 5, 45 degrees. I will be reproducing the same figure over here. The AB would be coming onto this. A, B. Now you can reproduce the same structure over here by help of compass. You can measure A. You can measure B you can measure BC you can measure AC you can measure D AD and you can measure BD this is D you can measure BO2 and AO2 and you can measure BO1 and AO1 right Now we have to follow the same dark and uh, hidden lines here.
axis line this is O2 this is O1 right so you have reproduced the same figure over here at this position now you have to project this uh, for the front view this would become B dash, A dash, D dash, D dash, next coming to E, uh, that would be falling, here. E dash, next would be O1 dash, next uh, C dash, Next O2, so already we have finished A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash and O1 dash, O2 dash, right. So O1 dash and O2 dash are the axis line, let's finish that. Axis line is finished, uh, next coming in this direction, this is uh, stage uh, 3, 1 right three so in this direction when you are looking this so you can see uh, b o1 c and d are clearly visible you can't see the a point in this direction right this is the vp this is the hp right front view observer is looking in this direction so you have to follow this top view for front view means you can see b c o1 and uh, D, but you can't see A, right? So, uh, for let's finish off the outlines. So, I have finished the outlines. So, here you can see B, C, O1, E, and D, but you can't see the A. In this direction means A is behind the surface so A would be coming in hidden so you can see B O1 C O1 D O1 E O1 all are dark see here B O1 dark C O1 dark D O1 dark E O1 dark and A1 A dash and O1 dash are hidden means at this back line hidden lines okay next coming to ac uh, ae that is hidden ab hidden so in this way we have to draw the projections of a pentagonal pyramid psi 30 axis 70 uh, axis inclined at HP to the 30 degrees and edge is inclined at 45 degrees to the VP. So, this is the edge that is inclined at 45 degrees to the VP and this axis is 30 degrees inclined to the HP. Uh, with this, we have finished uh, this presence of uh, a pentagonal pyramid. I hope everyone understand. Uh, subscribe the channel and follow it regularly for updates in engineering, drawing, graphics. Thank you.